Hello everyone, my name is Idiotic Synergy and today we are talking about the Corpse Harvesting Party for the Corpse Grinder Cult. Well, technically the Corpse Grinder Guild, but it's all the same. Meat is meat after all. And honestly, these models look fantastic. I have to point out that they're resin and they're being sold on Forge World, so they're going to be pretty bloody pricey. However, these models look really cool. How it, well, I don't know if this is a com I don't think this is a complaint, but they don't look like corpse grinders. You see, when I think corpse grinder cult, I think of the box you can buy, hopefully on screen, you know, where all the armor's ragged, their weapons are ragged, uh, there's no real organization there, they just get sent out to try and find meat, whether it be dead or alive. You know, also they're quite close to corn worshippers as well. Uh, so, well, they're not close to corn worshippers, they kill corn worshippers, I'm just trying to say they sort of worship corn slightly half the time. It's really odd with the Corpse Grinder cult. But with these models, they don't have that. I mean, this woman here looks like she belongs in Rogue Trader, you know, with all her finery and everything. And with this guy, this guy is just a little short fat man. But I, I, I like the fact he's got a banner that you can quite clearly see if you zoom in. <laughs> so it's not clear then. Ah, uh, shut up. Um, basically, you can see here tally marks. So I assume that's the amount of corpses that this group has uh, gone through already. And I what I really like... She, also, she's wearing bloody robes. Robes and necromunda. As someone that whose job it is to recover dead bodies and stuff, she's wearing robes and fancy gear and stuff. It feels like the corpse uh, harvesting parties are the elite of the elite, and their job is to literally look after, uh, not look after, is to make sure that the recycling goes over well. Also, what I really like is her, the bodyguards. I I like them. Because they're wearing bloody surgical gear, right? And this guy's just dragging someone behind him. But they've got massive chain axes as well. <laughs> so why the surgical gloves? It's like, oh, we need to be careful here. Here, pass me that massive chain axe so it can carefully remove stuff. But it's a chain axe. It's, it's really... <laughs> I just like how they've got surgical gloves. It's silly, but I love it. Oh, dear. Everything... They, they're like a good mix between Necromunda goofiness and the whole grim dark of the setting. Because look at this model, for fuck's sake. It's harvesting some poor bastard's bloody innards to shove into corpse starch. I, I really like these models. Also, I like Voldemort's cousin here with the gun in its mouth. It's a servo skull that's armed. So if it's so, so if somehow someone gets past the two massive lads with chain axes, this guy can just open fire. And I really like the whole uh, thing of them being sort of like an elite, uh, an elite sort of corpse grinder guild unit where they're sent out to make sure that they're that everybody's being recycled properly. And they're considered as prospectors, so, you know, they, they're they sort of getting rich from what they're doing. And so they can afford, you know, finery and stuff. But it's really odd. It is so odd considering that this is corpse grinders. And corpse grinders are batshit insane. <laughs> but anyway, this I really like this uh, unit. This unit looks really cool, and is really cool, just because I like to think of it as if you're in a Corpse Grinder cult, uh, you get headhunted as to being these two bodyguards, uh, or like being bodyguards for these two, and yeah, they get better gear, and hopefully better hit points, maybe, I don't know. I don't know their rules, however, uh, this one... Where they can say that uh, they can get a little overzealous. Post-battle, any fighter who suffered a critical injury might suddenly, inexplicably, stop moving. The Scrivener will pass any digestible valuables onto you, but nobody's going to see that ganger again. 
So that means if you bring these guys along uh, with your corpse grinders, and one of your corpse grinders gets critically injured, you're going to lose a guy. Same as on the other side. And that can be really useful for Dark... Is it Dark Uprising? Yeah, I think it is. There's a game mode in Necromunda where, where your fighters can actually starve to death. And to sort of stop that from happening, you sort of have to either save up and buy food, which gets expensive, or you can't find any more because halfway through the campaign, everything shuts down. Uh, <laughs> or you can choose to eat your own, uh, eat your own fighters as well. So if you've, so if you're playing Corpse Grinder Cult, you might want to bring this lot along just so then any critically injured fighters that you get post game just becomes food for you. I really like that. That is really cool. Anyway, uh, that's that's it. Uh, like I said, they're resin, which I'm. Um, it's a shame. It's a shame they're resin, and it's a shame it's being sold on Forge World. However, these models look sick, and they they give more character to the Corpse Grinder cult, and what they do, and sort of like the hierarchy of it all. I think that's really neat, and I hope to see more more storytelling like this, where it's storytelling through the models, and I I like shit like that. Anyway, I've been Idiotic Synergy. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.